Good morning, YouTube. How are we all doing today? That's good? Maybe? I don't know. I can't hear you through this, you know, medium. But uh, I'm gonna assume you said, great, Alex. I am whipping up some coffee, per huge in the AM. Uh, Kayla was up with me last night till like 2.30. We are super excited. Megan, our friend, you might remember, a little redhead, kind of spunky, um, is opening up a sticker store. And obviously we're like, let us help. So we're giving her all the inside tips and tricks. So hopefully that store is gonna be up. Her stuff obviously is gonna be super cute because she's got like the greatest mentors ever. But yeah, so I'm super excited and we've just kind of been excited for her about that. Another thing is I'm about to head out to the local high school, that's Byron Center High School, and I'm going to try and see if they need help with their sports jerseys and things because I noticed a lot of jerseys have that like vinyl heat press material which is cool it makes sense you can put names on the back of kids shirts and that's awesome but I can actually dye it into the fabric as you guys who've been watching know I can do sublimation stuff so like this little bad boy so like that's actually in the fabric right and so that's not gonna come off with football or wear and tear next year the shirts gonna be good this is actually my neighbor's shirt uh, their kid not the actual person, obviously. It's very small. That's ridiculous. Anyways, uh, it's his kid's shirt I made for him, and he's worn it like every other day for two weeks, and it still looks like out of the packaging. So I'm really, really happy with how it's holed up. And I'm meeting with the directors of the high school, uh, or the athletic program, I mean, and to go over, hey, you know, maybe we can do stuff. And I've got my little table of goodies between mugs, license plates, coffees, koozies. Oh, koozies, I gotta get a koozie. All right, guys, so I'm doing a little bit of car vlogging. Uh, I think it went really, really well. Um, the gentleman I met graduated high school the same year as me. We were just talking and I was like, so, you know, how long have you been working here and all this? And he's like, yeah, you know, I graduated in 2009. I was like, from high school? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, and you could tell he felt like a little self-conscious because he was like, I feel, he looked young. I could barely tell him from the uh, the kids. He looks amazing. That's what being athletic does. It doesn't age your body like this. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, we hit it off. I think he was super excited and uh, I think there's a lot of things that we can do for the high school and help them make money. They're trying to expand, and I think uh, it's going to hopefully be a good partnership where everyone benefits. You know, we get our name out there, and we get uh, we get the monies. That's a thing, and they get more monies. Is the, ideally the relationship I'd like to build with the high school uh, is where they're benefiting more than us because eventually I'm going to have a little chitlins of my own, and I'd like them to go to a nice school with art supplies and all the things that keep seeming to disappear. What kind of material? Okay. Awesome. Thank you to the Calentine Art Center. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just a ton about the fabrics, like the raw goods. And I got to talk to a couple people who, that you could tell they were just mom and pa shops like me and Kayla, and they were doing things like, hey, checking, you know, what, trying, should we do this, should we do that? And I, I got to help them out and give them a lot of great advice. Like, yeah, you should do sublimation. They do, they go to car shows. You could do license plates on the spot of the car. Like, there's so many good ideas. Oh, I'd make so much money. I just don't have time to go to the car shows. So, I got to do that. It was a lot of fun. I'm on my way home. Uh, I'm going to finish the coffee I never got to start drinking. And hopefully go back to work. And uh, knock out a ton of all the administrative stuff. I didn't come up with a lot of new designs. I didn't come up with any new designs this week. It's all been Kayla. And hopefully we can get caught up administratively and next week I will have, I'm thinking about doing like some llamas. Uh, after Planner Con, I got inundated. People were like, please make llamas. I love your style, make llamas. And I was like flattered because people like my stuff. And so I'm gonna make some llamas. Um, but yeah. Yep, yep, so yep. we just got home and Alex is about to tell me about his amazing day, but I came back from the P.O. box with and two presents that are phenomenal. Like both me and him. I look like how I feel. So, uh, so I get this story. package and it says Cesar Hernandez. And I'm like, oh, I only know that. one, C two Caesars, one talks to dogs and doesn't know my address. And the other one just started watching our vlogs and we met at PlannerCon. And I open it up, and sure enough, here's this lovely letter about meeting Caesar and his wife, Claudia, at PlannerCon. And apparently there's a little bit of guy crush going on. But he saw, they're in California, and they saw that I was begging for the, the limon. The, oh my god, there's even more! He just saw the top, and he's like, I got a film. Oh my oh, god. I'm so happy! I'm gonna put it uh, oh. I need to baggy these. If you guys watched my sponsored video today, you're supposed to baggy You really should, because snacks. I will I will eat all of these. So I'm gonna baggy these for him, but these are hands down my favorite treat. And I've never I didn't know even they came this big. And my mother already fell. <laughs> mm. So Alex got that awesome gift, and I got this awesome gift. It is a cover from Plum Planner that Teresa uh sent to me. She got it for me and had it sent to my, my house and it's poppies and gorgeous. And this is a really unique material. It's not laminated. It feels like, like it's actual plastic. So I have to open it up and see, but we are both two very happy campers right now. I'll go to the field camp. <laughs> Let out. There's this guy. Who is nothing. Who isn't a fan of the dogs coming over every day, but they're doing okay. They're actually improving. So you can see through this grease ridden <laughs> stove, uh, we're having pizza for dinner. So since we're having pizza, I have to tell my one pizza joke. Why did the hipster burn his mouth? Because he ate it before it was cool. So uh, somebody didn't listen to my joke. We got a real hipster over here. If you bout it, hold up. You think I'm about it? That's all I know. I know the rest of it. I think this line is so mean. Then it wasn't nice to meet them. Why would like you, you at even all. say that? It's nice to meet them, but I hope you die. Howdy doodly dandy, we are back in Flint for what? We are going to my fraternity's 10 year anniversary that we have been open on this campus and I was there like in year two. So I knew a lot of the guys who actually got it started. So uh, because it's the big old one -oh, really sorry about the road. Yeah, we are back fault. in Flint. So uh, I promise you, I, I am not getting cerebral palsy. Uh, oh it's it's, it's the so roads. It's so bad, it's so, I'm like on a dirt road of cement. Oh God. Yeah. But so uh, we're back for the 1 0. A lot of guys are coming back in town for this, so uh, we're going to lunch right now. So we made it on time with minutes to spare, and apparently there was like two extra people than there are seats, so we got the last two seats uh, before they ran out of room. So these are all the guys. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. 
So we are now at the event. It's before it started. We are here and we are ready. Megan's with me. She's the one that opened the shop. Links below. But so cool. And so there's a lot of people here that we don't know, which is weird. Like, I understand why I don't know them, but like, Alex and Chad don't know them. Megan doesn't know them. Kurt? So we're just like, Oh, my brother's name is I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. I don't know. I'm just gonna eat some food. That's what I'm here for. Isn't she just gorgeous? Just. No, I'm talking about my beautiful bride. And Megan's here. All the girls look so pretty today, and then so does the food. Especially and Osmi's here. All my guys are here. This is just my wedding table. <laughs> talking about a lot of things. However, he's not very good about talking about himself, uh, which is why I was called up here. And it is my great honor to present um, one of my closest brothers with the Brother of the Year Award, Brother Daniel Stolen. That's my little. So it's actually a lot harder than you think to take photos of men. They take, they take forever. They're terrible at it, and then they get tired after one photo. It's really bad. We got most of it. That was Founder's Day. That's what it was. They turned the lights off on us. All right. Can't go home, or you can go home, but you can't stay here. Closing time. There was no alcohol, so just get out of here. Thank <laughs> you. 